This is an audio adaption of the short story Tent Worms by Tennessee Williams. This audio adaption was created by Abby Martinez, Aya Glacier, and Angela Trimble for DTC 354 Digital Storytelling at Washington State University. Look at them. They'll be crawling up this house any day now. These tent worms are getting closer. Tent worms? What are tent worms? The caterpillars that are crawling all over the damn place. Don't you ever look outside? Yes. You can see their webs covering the entire forest? Yes. You reckon we have any pesticides around here? I can't stand to see this place being eaten alive. Mm-hmm. Stop saying yes, yes, yes when you're not listening to a goddamn word I say. I heard you. You were meandering on like an old woman about those worms. Am I supposed to sit here starry-eyed with excitement? All right. You asked me what they were, and I was trying to tell you. And I don't care what they are. Maybe they bother you, but they don't bother me. Stop being childish. <sighs> Am I being childish? He's the one obsessed with those worms when, when there is so much more to worry about. Those damn tent worms. Let them eat this entire place. Heaven knows I'll never be back. What in the world? <coughs> what in the hell do you think you're doing? I'm burning out the tent worm. Are you out of your mind? There are millions of them. It's all right. I'm going to burn them all out before we leave here. You're impossible. Childish. Billy, stop that nonsense and come have a drink with me. I'll be with you later. Fine, that's fine. I'll drink it myself. You can just burn up those worms. See if I care. I'll just go to the theater. Restaurants. I'll get my own apartment. I don't care about him. I don't care. I pity him a bit, is all. Huh? What? Oh, it must be the doctor again. How's it going, sweetie? How's what going? Your escape from the poisonous vapors of the metropolis? If that's a serious question, Doc, I'll give you a serious answer. Your patient is nostalgic for the poisonous vapors, and so is creating some here. What? What? Is the connection bad? No, just wondering what you meant. I will enlighten you. Gladly. Billy, your patient, is polluting the air of our summer retreat by burning out something called tent worms. The smoke is suffocating. Worse than carbon monoxide in a traffic jam in a tunnel. I'm coughing and I'm choking and he still keeps at it. Well, at least he's still active. Oh, that he is. Would you like me to call him to the phone? No, just tell, no, don't tell him I called. He might wonder why. Why in the hell didn't you tell him so he'd know and I can't bear it. My mind is full of awful, awful thoughts, speculations about how long I'll have to endure it, when it will be finished. Easy, sweetie. Easy for you, not me. And don't call me sweetie. I'm not a sweetie. There's nothing sweet about me. I've turned savage. Unless he stops burning those tent worms, I'm going to go alone back to the city. 
at least no diseased vegetation and paper torches and him staggering out there. Gotta hang up. He's coming towards the house. Clara, it's hard to be human, but for God's sake, try. Can't you tell me how to write me a prescription so that I can? Clara, love takes disguises. Your mind is probably full of fantasies that you'll dismiss with shame when this ordeal is over. You scored a point there. I'm full of fantasies of a bit of a future. You mentioned a prescription? Yes. What? Try a recollection of how it was before. Seems totally unreal. Right now, yes, but try to. Thanks. I'll try to breathe. If only the sea wind could blow the smoke away. That smells awful. Well, the baking soda helps my burns. Sorry. Are you giving it up? <sighs> Ran out of paper and matches. Tent worms. Tent worms. I mean, tent worms. Really? A blight on vegetation is like a blight on your body. This is just a place we rented for the summer, and we're never coming back. A man in his youth is like a summer place. What was that? A man in his youth is like a summer place. And we're never coming back. No, I guess we're not. <laughs>